are here to hear about the differences in the treatment of women in the Renaissance and the Protestant Reformation. Now, the differences are few. In the Renaissance, women had very few rights. They received little education, and single women had to live with male relatives. Thus, those women who wanted to buy land and to buy housing had to be married. They had no say in choosing a husband since that was their father's role. Um, virginity was viewed very important in the high class society to determine legitimate children to pass down property, land, and businesses. Also, women were linked between the two families. Rape was viewed as the woman's fault. You had fewer rights depending on what class you were in. If you were in a low class, you, had, you were very lenient. You could go into town and trade, or you could work with your husband and, of course, work in the house and take care of the children. As for the middle class, you mostly took care of the children and took care of the house, but if you wanted to, you could help your husband. As for the high class society, you had few more rights. Though more right, Catholic women had more rights than the Jewish women because they lived in their own communities with their own laws. Jewish women could sign contracts, represent in court, or initiate legal actions. Though constantly, women were belittled by men. One example is in William Shakespeare's Taming of the Shrew. The play represents the ideal woman. An actress, which is very uncommon for that age since most actors were played by men, was playing the role of Catherine, who was the shrew. A shrew is an outspoken woman and was quite the insult back then. Catherine did not listen to anybody. She did not want to be controlled by any man. Thus, no man wanted to marry her, except for the man Petruchio. But he only married her for her fortune. Though her Bianca, her sister Bianca, was her stark contrast. She was, again, the ideal woman. She listened to her husband. She would listen to any man. She, would, she didn't care about being controlled. She was very soft-spoken and patient. Though, with this idea of ideal women, there were still women who outshone that, that aspect. Take Lucrezia Borgia, for example. She was the daughter of Pope Alexander. She actually is most famously known for poisoning her enemies at banquets with her ring. And also another woman is Queen Elizabeth I. She was very well respected and improved England's econ economy tremendously. Though everyone was so shocked that she never married, though they thought she would always would. And finally, there was Lavina Tierley, a manuscript illustrator. She sold her works to Henry VIII, who bought more from her than Hans Holbein, and he also paid more for her works than his. Yet, when it came to the Protestant Reformation, all the important figures, Mary, saints, martyrs, were forgotten. They only focused on Jesus and man. Women had no, no uh, choice to join the convent or jobs. Their only choice was to get married and have children. Thus, male control increased. The death toll of women increased to 30,000 more because men, women were being accused of being witches and accused of infanticide. Though the accused were, the similarity between the accused is that the, those accused were not in positions controlled by men. So, again, despite this time of when few rights were allowed to women, there were powerful reformers.
Take Katerina von Buer, for example. She broke out of a convent with Martin Luther's help. She went to Martin Luther and was very well educated. The, and she also helped manage the monastery. She butchered cows, she bred them, and sold them. She ran a brewery to provide for her family and the students who boarded with, boarded with them, and visitors seeking audience with Luther. Also, another woman is Marguerite de Navarre. She was very well educated by her mother in Spanish, Latin, Italian, German, Greek, and Hebrew. She was married to King Henry of Navarre, Greek King Henry II of Navarre. She wrote many poems and plays in the classic collection of stories, The Heptameron. Anne Boleyn, before becoming the second wife of King Henry VIII, was lady-waiting to Queen Marguerite, who gave her the original manuscript of Moir de Lame Pecheret. Later, Anne's daughter, Queen Elizabeth I translated this poem for publication in English. Marguerite was also viewed as the mediator between Roman Catholics and Protestants, including John Calvin. Now reflecting on the question of whether or not I could live in this period? Absolutely not. I believe women should be treated equal as men, and women should choose whether or not they want to marry or have children, and should choose on whether or not and who they want to marry. I believe we should all be created equal, and I'm glad I don't live in a time like then, like now. Uh, like then. I'm glad we live in a time like now. Thank you.